the 30 bomb there. But now the next map coming up, can Curse bring this back, do you think? I think definitely, although um, from what we saw against Prophecy in favour of Millennium yesterday, yeah. they were very, very strong on Search and Destroy. Uh, as Tom Twitter last night and also in an interview, they, they changed the way they played. They assumed that Gunchi had a Hellstorm Missile and Lightning Strike. Uh -huh. Turns out he didn't, but that's why they were playing a lot differently. Yeah. So they were pl like going towards the closed, the closed bomb site, so not in the air sort of thing. Yeah. So that meant that they had to completely adjust their play style based upon that. So I'm sure they'll be a lot more uh, stricter on when looking at what score streaks players will have this time. You around. have to make sure. But in the same sense, you have to make sure when you're calling that they do. You mean you could say, oh, I don't think he has a, a lightning strike. And, and that could be of, like, And all of know. a sudden you get four piece off a yeah, lightning strike. Exactly. It is one of them things which can happen. Of course, I think, I mean, what's your thought on score streaks within the game? Oh, I, I was against them when the idea of it was brought in, but now that they are here, I completely love them. Yeah, it, it is good fun to watch. They're I a mean, game changer. They're exciting to watch. Thing is, as a player, I think you would find it frustrating, but I think it is a case of you will let them get the score streaks. It, it's your own fault because I mean, if you're letting somebody go on a six or seven kill streak, then you deserve to be score streaked if anything. Because I mean. You need to stop. You need to start defending and not letting them do that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really a bit like getting kicked when you're down. Though somebody's just yeah. got ten kills against you, then all of a sudden, bang, 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 more score streaks come bang, flying. In. Kicked when you're down. Cheers for kicking me in the leg there, Tony. I appreciate Sorry. it. You went down, so it didn't count. <laughs> anyway, I'm waiting on this game getting started up. I think everyone's sick of our small talk. Yeah, so we don't do great small talk. I'll be honest. No, no, we're not good for small talk. We're all right at casting, though. I think we're okay. You are. I'm probably not. Um, nah, you are good. Uh, you. I, do I do love you, Tony. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be Express Search and Destroy going into the second map here. For those of you that aren't fully aware of the rule set that we have in place, it is a 1 minute 30 round duration, first to six rounds, with the teams switching each round. So you'll play one attack, one defend, and so on and so forth. Yeah, uh, Search and Destroy is probably my second favorite game type because I don't think anything will ever better hardpoint. I mean, it is one of them things that's just, it, it is definitely one of the best game modes that's came into Call of Duty since Domination on COD 4, which was unbelievable. But hardpoint really has a feel of that. You know, it, there's a lot of big, fast, big players by teams and big individual players by players, and it can really go off. And when there's a lot of kills going down, it's probably the hardest thing to commentate on because you're like, <laughs> it is like that. I mean, except you speak legible English oh, okay. or try to. And, you know, it is great to watch. But I was going to say, I thought you just hopped onto the French stream there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't speak as quick as them. No, they, they do. Very quick. We have them casting just over our shoulders, and they, um, I'll be honest, I'm in awe of how quick they're able to speak and actually. Uh, bring light into this game. Anyway, we're going to kick things off on board with the EU Shot. player Tommy for Team Millennium. He's going to take down Wunder first of all. That was great play. If we can just get ourselves muted within the venue, that would be fantastic. That way we can commentate more freely. Uh, yeah, can we get turned down inside the venue? Somebody? There you go. Thank you very much. It's so on board with Tommy now. Four versus three in favour of Millennium. Looks like he's retreating back to his own spawn there just to make no, sure. He's, he's just watching behind and he, you know what? He spotted that completely right. Well played by Tommy, expecting Ryder to come around behind. Well, one thing we never actually touched upon was the fact that he teamed with both Wunder and Ryder. And oh, oh, Tommy! That was absolutely insane. Two piece there to win the round. Check out the reactions on this guy. Ace from Tommy there, absolutely amazing play. He picked off Wonder first kill, went back, picked off Ryder, then picked off Mac Naughty. and Black. That was absolutely <laughs> incredible from Tommy. Huge play. Yeah, a bit of a reaction from the crowd there, which is actually pretty big. And you know what I'm going to try and do later? You're going to get them hyped. I'm going to be like, Sheffield, <laughs> it's not quite the same as Anaheim, California. Give me, give me some noise. Sheffield. <laughs> Sheffield, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> anyway, we're on board with Ryder, who's going to get shut down by Maxi. That was a nice little two-piece around that B bomb site. Mac trying to answer back with a kill of his own, but Black has shut down that player in the form of Maxi. He's going to push up now and retrieve that bomb. Where is that final player? No, there's two versus two now. It's going to be Tommy and Carnage against Mac and Black. <laughs> Still on board with Mac now, spotting the player towards the back of the ticket office. And they're going to get themselves pinned in here if they're not careful. It's one of them ones where you don't really want to be stuck in. Tommy's going to get the kill on Black now, so on board with Mac, who's going to move towards it. 
Mac is going to make his way around towards this A bomb site now, rotating around the back of his own spawn. It looks as if he's going to be pushing in. But if we just bring up that minimap down that bottom right hand side, they will, of course, be fully aware of where he's going. But no, catching Carnage completely unawares. Where is Tommy? behind him he's going to go for this quick bomb plant will tom be able to get him of course he will he's waiting for him to get the plan so that Excellent. he's able to get the diffuse yeah. such a smart player he's going to have full score streaks at the end of this as well as we can see on the screen he's currently on a six kill streak got himself a diffuse as well that's full streaks 800 points with no deaths well played to tommy really being the difference here so far yeah spotted him guys that's a good tip for you if you know he's planting the bomb and last guy alive wait until he's planted it Kill him, get the defuse for the bomb, and you get yourself an extra 100 points or so. 200 points even now, isn't it? It's changed from cut forward days. I'm stuck in your ways, aren't I? <laughs> stuck in your ways. Sort of like when uh, I first came onto Black Ops 2, I, I insisted that I'd still use two stuns in the grenade, no matter what scenario <laughs> I was in. Quickly changed, but here we are. Anyway, we're still on board with Tommy. Did you want to keep on board with him, or did you want to switch? Uh, let's go on board with somebody else. I'm going to go on Maxi. Although he's playing the boring job, so I'm going to go back to Tommy. <laughs> we'll stick on board with Tommy. Of course, he has got those full streaks in his arsenal. So let's see what he can do. He's pushing down with the Scorpion. Max has just picked up Black uh, Mac Sorry, with the AN94. We are sitting back here, and we're going to see Millennium Tommy now use his RCXD. I don't think he's got a driving license for that thing. What's he trying to do? He's just trying to scope it out with it. He's driving straight past the trophy system. Has he uh -oh. just seen a player down that bottom area? Yes, he did. But, of course, that will at least reveal somebody's position. Yeah, they now know he's there. But check out this guy. Who is that? Let's get on board he's with him. He's in a great position. That's going to be carnage. So let's go on board with him. Oh, we see a gunfight coming up. Sorry, I'll jump back on board with Tommy. Although, actually, yeah, that, oh, well, there you go. That's typical. Moved away from Conjure to get to kill. He's going to go for a second one as well. Looking towards the back area. Millennium. Maxi's going to pick that up. 3 0 now to Millennium against Curse here. They're already one map up as well. They're pulling away from them. This is not looking fantastic for Curse now. As before the event, a lot of people will have predicted them not to be doing so great. They did very well against Tech, as you saw earlier. You just will have caught the end of it live on stream. That was, of course, the search and destroy on Raid that they were able to win. Tommy, of course, has still got Lightning and Hellstorm should he need them. And currently 3 0 up. This is going to be a bit risky from Curse to be pushing over towards A because as soon as that bomb goes down, Tommy's got a Hellstorm and a Lightning. If they can get the bomb down, they can get back straight yeah. to Lockers and in the it's train. It's very, very close to an inside area, but Tommy will be able to watch that area, of course. One that goes down. They need to be killing Tommy very early uh -oh. on, but I think in comes a uh, in comes a strike here. But no, Tommy's just going to pick Ryder up with a gun, risking taking down Black as well. We're on board with Max. Huge shots fired onto that back alleyway. Not actually managing to pick up a kill though. He's done well to get away though, so he's going to move straight away from that bomb smite. Bomb smite. Bomb site. Very smart play by Mac. He is being watched though. Yeah, has he spotted him? No, he hasn't. So there you go. Mac is going to manage to get round to B. Do they still think he's in it? It looks as if they are. The way they've shaped up, they've not even thought about rotating over just yet. Mac needs to capitalise on this and get the bomb straight down, which he does. Let's bring up that minimap. Is he going to be able to uh, get away from the yeah, bomb? He's yeah, he's definitely going to be able to get away. He just needs to make maybe one kill by this time. Pick a player off that bomb. Where is he? Ah, no, Tommy's Tommy. there waiting. Of course he is. Tommy, 8 and 0 oh, with a diffuse. Is he going to go and pick this one up just yep. for fun as well? Of course he is, Tommy. He's very close to his RC. Will he get it with this, I think? Uh, well, I'll answer that question in a second for you. Nope, no. I think he wants to see I knew it. <laughs> if you knew it, why didn't you say so, Tun? Well, hey, I thought hey, it, hey. you put doubt in my mind, okay. 4 0 now to Millennium. No doubt in my mind who I think is going to win this now because I think Millennium are really just showing their dominance here. Yeah, Millennium 4 0. Tommy, of course, has still got a lightning strike and a Hellstorm missile. He's only one kill away, really, from another RCXD, which can be used as a scout out and reveal somebody's position. And here we go. Of course, he did actually use that lightning strike. My apologies in the, the previous round where he was defending. Didn't actually pick up any kills with it, but he took it to uh, force players in towards an inside area where he was lying in wait just to make that kill. Tommy just waiting on a rush, which I don't think is going to be a very popular one. Because yeah, I mean, it's, it's not great to watch when they do this, but it is a smart tactic. If we just sit back a little bit, let your enemy team sort of try and predict where you're going to go, and then take a risk. It is risky, but it can work so, so well. And here we go. They're going to move over towards A now. Yeah, we're going to be on board with Carnage as uh, Tommy's calling in that Hellstorm missile. It looks as if all of them are inside, probably going to go for the one in the oh, lift. And he does shot. manage to pick up Mac. <laughs> that was, had to be so, so accurate. 
Oh, and oh, Tommy, no, what is, is this guy on now? Is that 10 and 0? I think he is actually on 10 and 0. He's looking for the kill towards, but you know he's going to pick it up as well. Oh, that is absolutely Tommy. ridiculous. The guy is 11 and 0. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. There you go. Grenade bounces off the wall. A couple of shots into him as well. Gaboom. Tommy on absolute fire. Yeah, fantastic play. The French stream will get mental. They're going crazy. <laughs> Let's have a look at what they can do to try and combat Tommy, essentially. Two defuses to his 11 kills as well. He has more kills than all of his teammates put together. And why? I understand now why you would team with this guy despite him not being the same nationality. Here we go anyway, on board with Wonder. Where is Tommy? Is Tommy still left alive? Yes, of course he is. It's him and Carnage against three. Tommy, it looks as if he might be uh, firing very, very soon. He's going to a very central position. Now let's get on board with him. We're going to have to go back on board with them. I'm sorry to be sort of riding on him, but he's, he's, oh. making, oh, he's eventually going to get taken out by Wonder, though. So let's get, jump back on board. And Kirsch should get a round on the board here. Carnage is the last guy alive. And he's just trying to prolong this round a little bit longer, I think. If Carnage can make this uh, a 1v3, and of course it would be a swift 6-0, that would be oh huge man. motivation for the Millennium lineup, but there not going to happen. Wyndham puts paid for that, taking down Tommy and also Carnage. So Wonder coming up big there when needed. Is this the start of the comeback? <laughs> I mean, it will be some comeback. It would be an absolutely incredible comeback if Curse were able to do this. Best comeback I've seen I was involved in. So I'll let you know that. You know what happened? Go on, Tony. I'm sure you're going to tell us. When we used to play first to four in S&D, we were 2-0 down the series, 3-0 down the S&D, and my mate Adam was in a 1v4. He did the 1v4 and we won the game. <laughs> <laughs> can you believe it? No. Did it actually happen? Yes. Insane. All right, so <laughs> can I take that trumpet off you that you're currently blowing? Oh, mate. Yeah, well, a big shout out Adam for the 1v4 though that was what kept us in it and then we bound them. Wunder still going big now that's three he's taken down Carnage twice in that little streak he took down Tommy as well that was what won them the game the round Wonder, sorry last time we're going to get on board with that player that is going to be Wunder and he's just going to take the opportunity just to retreat back a little bit Tommy trying to provide the support to Riskin as it looks if they're trying to get that bomb down he's going to nade in towards that red area not pick up any hit markers from that he's going to push up these oh, he stairs he needs to plant the bomb he could have planted it 20 minutes ago now there he's going to get that bomb down. Of yep. course, it is a very, very open area. Tommy's still providing the support for that. He's going to push him towards that middle map area. And it looks as if Tommy's going to come head on head with a the player there. Max is taken down. Mac, and it's going to be two versus three. Let's get on board with Wonder. See what he oh, Risky coming in there with a two piece to win the map as well. Fantastic SD performance from Millennium. Here we go. Final kill count of the map. There goes one. One side from Risky. Turns it around. Oh, There's the second as well. That's all I have to say on that. I didn't say anything. but Right, stop it. Okay, <laughs> fantastically well played by Millennium to take that map 2-0 to the 11 and 1. Tommy going 11 Silly. and 1 there. That Tommy is ridiculous. Is an, Tommy is absolutely incredible. That was fantastic play by him. 11 and 1. 14,000, 14,000, 1,425 points. Yeah, 14,000 points, Tom. Well yeah, played, I know, he killed everyone 12 times. <laughs>